Here we go. Here later down the back straightaway. Elliot to Spain in that second spot. Now Cody Mahoney is second. As the caution's out, Skyler Lewis is going to bring out the yellow. Gotsy, your leader, has a hard charging Cody Mahoney right behind him. Here we go. <laughs> now Mahoney looking to the inside. And he'll sink the lead away from Gotsy. Gotsy's going to get into the back of him out of four. the tire and Riello. Gotta keep an eye on that double zero of Mark Barber who snuck his way into the third spot. For second, Barber and Godsey. Mark Barber's on the charge now in the zero. Zero. Caution is out. So Cody Mahoney still out front. Here we go. Another car to keep your eye on is that three at Brad Morrow. He came on strong last week for the win. Starting to widen a little bit out front. Mahoney trying to pull away. Godsey trying to work underneath Barber one more time. As laps starting to click away. Here in this late model feature. Oh, 
time by halfway. Oh, oh, good move. You get that first spot away. Stepped up to the top side. Two laps to go this time by, two to go. Mahoney about clipped that tire coming out of four. One to go, and that move right there just about seals it up. Turn four, here comes your winner to head over Indiana, Cody Mahoney! Second at the line, we're going to Mark Marvel, third to Brad Morrow. Steve Godson will come home fourth. Cody Mahoney, your feature winner for the Bowman Pro the Late Model Series. Tell you what, you cross that start finish line, your fists were pumping. You seemed happy. Oh man, after last week where I lost another race with a with a late race caution, sure felt good for us to stay green and and finally get a win at Brownstown. We've been working really hard on that. Was your was your crew telling you that, that Barbara was coming pretty fast on the top side? Yeah, I actually had my girlfriend showing signs tonight, and she'd show me I had a big lead, and them guys would close up, and it was like I could get away. Just kind of depend on how you get through lap traffic, really. Yeah, see, it looked like you moved up to the top there at the end of the race. Yeah, the top was pretty good, too, down there in one and two. Uh, three and four, I really didn't venture up there too high because I'd run so many laps on the bottom. But uh, it seemed like if I needed to go to the top, I, I would be okay doing that, too. It, it's different than years past where, you know, you didn't have a cushion to lean on up there. Now this year, you know, we've got you know, a nice black slick. Up, we had a cushion each week now. It's like you got something to lean on up there. Yeah, it's nice to have that. They did a really good job. The past couple weeks, the track was pretty rough, but they they've seemed like they've worked really hard and got it where you could race. If you had to go to the top or run the bottom, you could. I know you got a lot of people going to give thanks to you right here. Yeah, I got that whole crew right there. Everybody on that team that works in this car all week and, and helps grind tires and change uh, gears or put fuel in the car. They all, and uh, got to thank Kyra. She waxes her up, gets her, where she'll flow right through that air and go fast. But uh, 
yeah, thanks to everybody on Jim Beam Motorsports. And you got a pretty good leg up. You're trying to win two track championships here in one year. You've already won a super late model track championship, but how good would it feel to win two in one year? That, that would be pretty cool. I've never really done that before or even try, really tried to attempt it. So we'll see what we got going on. I feel pretty good so far. All right, we'll let you guys get your pictures taken and get on out of here. Cody Mahoney, your feature winner in the Bowman Pro Late Models.